As he started toward his car, Barbara called after him hurriedly. Um, I, I won't say anything to anybody here in the building. Pausing, Rick started to say thanks, but then something of the despair that Iran had been talking about tapped him on the shoulder and he said, I don't know, maybe it doesn't make any difference. But they'll look down on you. Not all of them, but some. You know how people are about not taking care of an animal. They consider it immoral and anti-empathic. I mean, technically it's not a crime like it was right after WWT, but the feeling's still there. God, Rick said futile and gestured empty-handed. I want to have an animal. I keep trying to buy one, but on my salary, on what a city employee makes. If, he thought, I could get lucky in my work again, as I did two years ago when I managed to bag four Andes during one month. If I had known then, he thought, that Groucho was going to die. But that had been before the tetanus, before the two-inch piece of broken hypodermic-like baling wire. You could buy a cat, Barbara offered. Cats are cheap. Look in your Sydney's catalogue. Rick said quietly, I don't want a domestic pet. I want what I originally had, a large animal. A sheep. Or if I can get the money, a cow or a steer. Or what you have, a horse. The bounty from retiring five Andes would do it, he realised. A thousand dollars apiece, over and above my salary. Then somewhere I could find, from someone, what I want. Even if the listing in Sydney's Animal and Fowl is in italics. Five thousand dollars. But, he thought, the five Andes first have to make their way to Earth from one of the colony planets. I can't control that. I can't make five of them come here. And even if I could, there are other bounty hunters with other police agencies throughout the world. The Andes would specifically have to take up residence in Northern California. And the senior bounty hunter in this area, Dave Holden, would have to die or retire. Buy a cricket, Badder suggested wittily. Or a mouse? Hey, for 25 bucks you can buy a full-grown mouse, Rick said. Your horse could die like Groucho died without warning. When you get home from work this evening, you could find her laid out on her back, her feet in the air, like a bug. Like what you said, a cricket. He strode off, car key in hand. S Sorry if I offended you, Barbara said nervously. In silence, Rick Deckard plucked okay. open the door of his hot car. He had nothing You're further to say to his neighbour. His mind was on his work on the day ahead.